22 years of skating together, the world's most decorated figure skaters, Tessa Virtue and Scott Moyer, are hanging up their skates. So, no, oh, this is, maybe it's exciting for her. What's next for the queen of figure skating, Tessa? is here to talk about her next chapter. Tessa! <laughs> so Tessa, your final dance together was two weeks ago. You were in St. John's on the Rock the Rink tour and I imagine it got quite emotional. How did it feel? It was, it was a little bittersweet, to be honest. We had 27 shows all across the country to digest this information, to really let it percolate and savor each performance, knowing that it would be the last in Brandon, Manitoba, or Lethbridge, Vancouver, all these, all these cities that have played a special role in our careers. And we were able to really relish in that. I think, I mean, how fortunate are we as athletes to have done that on our own terms in exactly the way that we envisioned? And we communicated every day about how that made us feel. And some days it was more emotional than others, but m most often, we really agreed that it just felt right. Yeah. I mean, we know what it feels like to be at our best, and to keep that level of performance up, we just simply don't have it in us to train at that capacity. I think mm -hmm. yeah. we're so ready to just step out into, right now it feels like the unknown, but to broaden our horizons and, and try new projects. Mm -hmm. I mean, but here's the thing, you guys are champs, and champs have a hard time walking away, so why is now the time? It felt right. You know, it would be hard five years from now, ten years from now. It will always be hard to walk away. It's been such a significant and meaningful chapter in our lives. But we didn't want to limit ourselves. I, I think we were so conscious. We didn't want to be stuck in those mm -hmm. characters, the Moulin Rouge skate that we did February 20th of 2018. That couldn't define us for the rest of our lives. So we need new challenges in our lives. And I think, you know, stepping outside the confines of those arena boards will be liberating and really refreshing. Well, let's talk about that because we've gotten to know you a little bit. It's so great, all the things you've accomplished, but there's another Tessa who doesn't have to do side-by-side -side twizzles. Right. So, <laughs> who is she? What are, you, what, are you, what are you planning? I think I'm ready to say yes to new projects that were put on the back burner when we were training and so focused on just one singular goal. Um, I'm planning on starting my MBA next fall at Queen's University. Yeah. And <laughs> really since, since the Vancouver Games, there was a flick of a switch and it was uh, as if we had to put on our business hats. And we were thrust into this mm -hmm. new world and I'm so keen, I've loved it. I've loved every bit of diving more deeply into um, the business side of it all. And so negotiating contracts and you know marketing, things That's like sexy. that, it's all, <laughs> yeah. it's yeah. also interesting. And I think you know being able to be creative in a different sphere is really appealing and alluring to me at the moment. Love that. Well, we Good can't wait to you. see where this journey takes you. Thank you. Good luck. I'm so grateful Good for the luck. support, thank you. tonight on eTalk that is us eTalk that is 7 p.m. eastern right here on CTV